Hello guys, I wanted to show you how to connect your um, Flutter app made with Android Studio to your with your Bitbucket account so you can commit and push your code to it so it is safe online. Okay, um, first you need to make an account with Bitbucket, all you need is an email address. So get started for free and to create an account. Here you just answer the question and press OK. And yeah, then you are in your big word account. And here you can, on the plus sign, you can add a repository and make a new one. Yeah, and that's it. And here you can make a repository too. Okay, guys, so we made. Um the Bitbucket account and now we will make a new Android Studio project with Flutter. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, loading project. Okay, so I will make a new one, new, pro, new Flutter project. Okay, but now we make a uh, first a new um, Flutter project. Flutter project. Project name. Um, hello rectangle 2. Next. Finish. Okay, so we create a new Flutter project. Okay, here's the dart. Uh, our dart main file and now we enable version control integration and we select git okay now it's created a repository on our pc and this repository we want to add to our bitbucket account and so now we um, and go here. Hmm? Yeah, we can click on the right of our project and edit to git. Okay, so now it's enabled and this um, project is added to it. And now we um, commit and push it to our bit bucket. And we are, that's our initial initial commit. Okay, and now we need to um, commit and push. We want to do both. Now he uh, analyzes the code, the difference. Yeah, commit and push. It's okay. Commit and push. Yet now we need to define the remote. Um, repository and our remote repository is the repository on our bit bucket so now we need a URL URL and so we go to our bit bucket account and now we create a repository and we call it hello rectangle 2 and no we don't want a readme and about settings we choose select android Create repository. Uh, okay. 
and now we have here a new URL and with this we could also if we first make a repository in Bitbucket we could use this clone and when we make the file we could choose make from version control and then we could choose this well, I will show you later okay now we take the URL we copy HTTPS to the end go back to um, Android Studio paste the URL and push OK so now it's checking if this URL exists now we need to okay, it worked initial commit here we can see um, the files and now we need to um, um, push it now it's um, it's pushing to the bit packet push successful and yeah to our master branch so let's have a look if it really happened okay let's press F5 and refresh okay now we see a rectangle has the folders here main dot initial commit and yeah here's our code and now we can also see the if change it let's delete all the code in our dart file like that okay this <laughs> can go away too and now we want to um, sync it again with our bit bucket so the same changes appear in our bit bucket um, account code so we go to commit delete we, the commit messages deleted all the code in the main dart file and here we can see the difference the version before was like this and now the version is like this there's no code anymore we do commit and push yes that's fine we want it to our original master branch and yeah and this is changing and we push push <laughs> okay let's wait push successful let's have a look okay here we see the old code and now we press f5 and the code must be gone yes it's gone and that's always when you change your code you push now commit and push and you and you can also if you have your own database just for you you can always use the master branch if there's something new yeah and that's it that's it guys and thanks for watching and bye i hope this helped you a bit see ya